have so many things to do today. Oh, how am I going to get everything done? Oh, good morning, Task. How's it going? Super. I'm getting ready for my 10 o'clock meeting. I've got all the higher-ups attending. You know, the muckety-mucks from upstairs. I can't wait to impress them with my JIT program for the R&D area. It's sure to result in ROI from my department. Who knows? Maybe I should have the HR people consider me for the MVP of the first-level managers. Task! Oh, slow down on all that jargon. You don't have to impress me. Is this meeting really necessary? Exactly what are you implying, Super? Super, I know you've asked me to attend, but frankly, the meeting's topic doesn't concern my area. I also wonder if some of the meeting attendees really need to be there. Super, you don't know much about networking and making a name for yourself, do you now? One needs to show one's abilities to those that are important. <sighs> one could have done that in a more efficient way. Super, I'm always open to your suggestions. Task, your raised eyebrows, the frown on your face, when you fold your arms, that does not communicate. I'm open for suggestions. Super, you're always reading something into nothing. Speaking of reading, your last email, it sounded a bit forceful. What are you talking about? Task, some individuals consider bold print, underlining, and italics Overuse to be threatening. Hmm. Super, you, along with a lot of other people, people, need to get thicker skin. Besides, I just wanted to get my point across. What's the big deal about using bold italic and large print in, in the print font in one email? As far as you talking about me frowning, I want you to remember... Last month, I threw in some smiley faces in my email. Oh, task. Ugh. Oh, smiley faces in the business environment doesn't necessarily communicate professionalism to the higher-ups. Have a smile on your face, but not smiley faces in your emails. Ah, oh, super. Maybe you should leave your suggestions to yourself. Oh. Hmm.